Alrighty, we're getting chilly outside, aren't we? Well, I happen to think we are. And what do you do when it's chilly if you're a bird? You migrate. You migrate into this YouTube video. What's up, y'all? This is Big Switch from Banish for a Cost here. Coming at you live with another banger deck profile. This week, it's Lyralisk. Pure Lyralisk, not bird up. No, pure Lyralisk. Um, it is an OTK machine. It sets up a, a few interrupts going first. Lots of non-engine, um, just what this format needs. Uh, decent amount of floatability, but that's uh, not the main <laughs> focus. So let's get right into it. It's pretty interesting. This, this deck was completely brewed by yours truly. Um, just like last week's with the Yosenju Nemliria, uh, this, however, is much more competitive. <laughs> um, alright, so we got three Warbler, uh, it's your standard, if you see it, you're looking good, usually. Uh, three Barrel Canary, this card is, I have used three in a game, I've used two in a turn, just for, like, linking off and then doing fun stuff with. Barrel Canary, very, very good, very, 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 very good card. Um, two Celestine, um, you can't summon it, uh, by its own effect, so it's kind of hit or miss, but its effect is just too good not to play. Especially the grave, like, both effects, the grave and the on summon. Uh, maybe cut it to one, but I, I kind of like two, honestly. Just feels good, especially with, like, Sapphire. Uh, we got two Cobalt, two Sapphire. Uh, I like him at two. Um, I often use a total of two each. Uh, if I'm going first, so I, I I do really, generally speaking, I like the the two count. You could maybe bump Cobalt to three. I don't even know if I would do that. But yep, that's the monster lineup. Uh, three three two two two, two. Um, after that we've got our Rota, uh, Bird Call. This card is insane. Search and then special from hand or a grave. <clears throat> very very nice. Um. So there's that, and we've got our one bird sanctuary. I like it as a one of just as a, another search off of uh, our Celestine Wagtail. Yeah, bird sanctuary, I like it. Um, onto our non Lyralisk non-engine, that's right. All of this is non-engine. Um, we've got one DD Crow. I kinda like two, honestly, but one is fine. Um, comes up. Pretty good. You can maybe side some if you're feeling if you're feeling up to it. Uh, three droll. I love the level one hand traps in this deck. It's really good for some other engine stuff, and you can just exceed someone using it, so it's always nice for that. Uh, of course, we got three ash blossom because it's ash blossom. Uh, after that, we've got one called by one one for one. Uh, this guy get, getting cobalt will always be good. Um, of course, we've got our called by for Droll. Uh, I did called by calling Droll. So, cool. Uh, up next, we've got our new support as of Phantom Nightmare. Swallows Cowrie. Uh, you can tribute from hand or grave or uh, field. So you can, tar you can dodge some target effects on Cobalt, for example. Uh, just generally good card. And uh, a lot... it's. Low key may be better than it is in Flunder. Like, it's good in Flunder, but it may be even better in this deck. Low key. So there's that. We were just playing two Where Are Flow. Um, it's good, but man, I don't like the limitation that you need to have one on field already. But outside of that, it's still pretty good. For that, we've got our two talents to go with our called by. Uh, you know, just a good card. It's either the best card or the worst card. Uh, three Droplet. Three imperm, like I said, it's just non-engine turbo for the most part, and then you got a bunch of little birds that fl flutter around. And since you do have Wind Wing Beast, what better to play than three Harpies Feather Storm? Yep, this card very annoying. Three in the main for when you win the die roll or the follow up for turn three. So yeah, that's uh fun little floodgate, but something you are able to take advantage of handily. On to the extra deck. <clears throat> we have three of our boy back, our soft once per turn friend. 
uh, three recital, or as MBT would say, recital. Um, love them, love them, love them. Mandatory three of, super good for follow-up, super good for all sorts of situations. Just very good in general. We've got two assembled, uh, OTK machine, Zeus machine, it's just good. Two Ensemble Blue, that's your main going first guy. It floats into usually your barrel. So that's good for follow-up to special the Cobalt back for more follow-up. Very good. We've got our one Promenade Thrush. I didn't make them, but it's good to know you have them. It's a discard to shuffle back a spell trap. So, or it's a detach rather. So it comes up sometimes. Didn't come up when I played it. Uh, we've got our F0 package, uh, just like in Bird Up, you still make your two recitals and go into that, so good old F0 Utopic Draco Future, my friend. Uh, on to the last two Xyzes, we have one Downard, one Zeus, uh, yeah, I mean standard assembled, swing, 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 Downard, Zeus, we don't have lethal, pretty cool. Uh, you can get up to like eight materials in this deck, six materials. So this Zeus is live, live, live. I wish I could fit two, but you know, uh, the extra deck space is actually super tight. You could maybe cut Promenade, you can maybe cut some of the, the links here, but it's super, super tight. Two Zeus though, and a Typhon, I would definitely recommend both. They're both quite, quite good in this deck. Uh, after that, we've got our three links, our one Anima, one SP, and our one uh, underworld goddess white woman jump scare um, all three of these I like this is definitely a flex spot but uh, I like it for pearly uh, it's just nice to have it's pretty easy to special four and then uh, just link everything off and then barrel <coughs> so um this is actually mad mad easy to make so uh, yeah but that's pretty much it man um, Pretty good, and I like the deck because it really doesn't commit much. It just has a bunch of little guys, and once you exceed with them, it's too late to interrupt with a lot of interruptions. Like, uh, the Cobalt gives the targeting protection. It's better than you'd think. Like, honestly, better than you'd think. I, uh, I, I, I lost against one player yesterday, and that was someone playing Sky Striker. I won against um, three... Tier 1 decks. I don't want to spoil uh, the next couple days' videos, but I won against three Tier 1 decks. I'll say that. Um, so I went undefeated besides the Sky Striker player who just ragged me for my life savings. But uh, anyway, uh, we have our side deck. This is pretty adjustable. I just went Duster, 2 Lightning Storm, 3 Twin Twister. I went Twin Twister over Cosmic because it's kind of good in this deck just for barrel. But, yep, yeah, uh, three dimension sh uh, fit fissure because, you know, Xyz deck. There's n really no time that this matters besides for Droll. That's the only reason that this could conflict. So it's pretty good, all things considered. Oh, and DD Crow also. But, yeah. Uh, just for going first, we've got three Judgment. And for going second, we've got three Evenly. I don't love Evenly just because of the whole Zeus thing. But, yeah, you could maybe throw Dark Ruler in instead. But yeah, that's the side. Uh, that is the side, extra deck, and main deck. Let's go into some combos real quick. It's a relatively easy deck to play. Um, it's pretty middle of the road. Um, it's no DDD. It's no uh, Grand Maju. It's right down the middle. Uh, it's definitely easier than Bird Up. So uh, it is. It can be prone to bricking, however. Uh, this, though, is a excellent hand. Uh, so what we can do, special activate, if they Valor, you have Bird Call, which you can search, then special. But we're just going to play through no hand traps. This is like the best going first hand that I've ever seen. So we've got three in hand, we're going to special that, special that, activate that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play around Droll by searching Barrel. Um, right, we're just fortunate enough to be able to with this hand. Uh, after that, we're going to go into our recital, no effect on summon, we're going to activate Detach to search any level 1 winged beast, we're going to search our Ultra Celestine Wagtail, after that we're going to search with Bird Call, get us out a 
Sapphire Swallow. Then we can Sapphire Swallow Special Both. Since this was so special, we can activate its effect. We have two options here. We can either get a Bird Call for follow-up, which is what we should do. But I'm going to be greedy and go for Bird Sanctuary. This is also a very good OTK uh, tool. Uh, yep. Xyz Summon. Another Recital. No effect on Summon. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you detach in this situation. Well, we'll detach, search for follow-up or DD Crow. It's up to you. Uh, you can either get Barrel or DD Crow. I'm going to go Barrel here. Um, DD Crow, uh, if, if you want. The reason I'm not is we have a duster. So uh, I think we're, we're chilling. Uh, after we commit to our Barrel, we can send those two. Summon the F0, ask for response, summon our real F0. That's our guy, our special little guy. Uh, then we can activate Bird Sanctuary since we do control a Xyz monster with three materials. At least we can draw one. So we'll allow the opponent to cut, draw, draw, cool. Uh, activate. So here we'll target Sapphire. Uh, you have two options really. Uh, it depends on how many um, bounces or whatever you want. Um, you can either target Sapphire or you can target Cobalt. If you target Cobalt you get targeting protection. If you target Sapphire you get an extra bounce. Uh, if this is as material, it does not give it the effect. If it's used as the initial material it does, but otherwise it doesn't. So what we'll do, we'll overlay into this with the Sapphire. We'll use Sapphire's effect to attach. We'll attach Turquoise. And then we'll use Celestine's effect to attach. So that brings this guy up to 2200 total. And that is four compulses. Very nice. Although realistically, if you didn't target this, you would have three compulses and it would be untargetable, which is kind of better. Uh, the only other side to that coin is with the barrel in hand follow up for next turn, um, say, so cause what we're gonna be doing is we're setting one pass on a monster negate and steal uh, four compulses. Say they break this entire board, uh, you could add this back, or no, 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 I'm sorry, you would add back probably the sapphire whenever this is outed somehow they're not outing it through this but yeah uh, if this does somehow get outed even though it's 2000 attack um, you are able to add back that sapphire for more follow-up but we'll say they pass uh, if you do detach you detach the Celestine you can start off your turn probably not activating it we'll let that go to the our other guy that we go into Drew Droplet for turn. But the Celestine can go back here at any time, which is nice. That's why you always detach this first. Anyway, we'll go Barrel Effect, Target, Cobalt, Cobalt Effect. We're just off to the races already. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go Sapphire, I guess. We can go into recital, activate, search for a Celestine. Put that here. Activate special, activate for a bird call. And it's a little overkill, but if you want, you can bird call for Cobalt and normal summon it. This will allow us to overlay for three. With that, 
we can Celestine attach. Uh, since we summoned it, oh yeah, and we'll use that to attach the barrel. So this alone, one, two, three, four, five materials. We don't get the barrel effect. So that's just five times uh, two. That is, of course, anyone, anyone, 1,000. That's right. 1,000 times one, two, three, four, five. So that's 5,000 damage. What we can also do is activate Bird Sanctuary to tuck this under. So it is now 1400 attack. A yeah, Bird Sanctuary, you can move this under any other, so you could also put it under Ensemble. Um, so even if your opponent walled up, set a bunch of cards, you have 1400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1400 damage, and you can attack seven times. So that's 14 times seven, that is over 8,000. Uh, if you need more damage, you got uh, 17 damage here, 3K here. Uh, and that's your hand. <laughs> so that on top of the, the Feather Storm, I don't know how any deck beats that. That's just insane. And again, if they out this, you add back follow up. That's like ridiculous. But that's the main idea, I mean, pretty cut and dry again that was like a perfect hand uh you will brick with this deck with just the amount of non-engine so if you want to brick last you can play tri brigade but um i do like the kill potential of this deck because again it, you can just swing direct for for like nine thousand out of nowhere um i hope that i explained that okay We'll do a couple more, just little test hands, not play them out, but. Yep, so I mean, you would go one for one, pitch, special cobalt, cobalt add. I guess barrel, uh, barrel target, add bird call, bird call, add sapphire, go into recital, activate, search, um, Turquoise, special turquoise, special back, whatever you discarded, recital, search another barrel, F0, some blue, same board. Um, I'm trying, trying to do quick combos just so y'all kind of get the, the vibes of the deck. Two, three, four, five. This is unplayable. So here's what I was talking about by how you will brick by non-engine. These two are broken cards, but you need to control level ones, that of which we did not open. If we're going second, though, we are fine, as is usually the case. Um, this is still, however, not a good spot to be at. So we can go normal summon, and if they pop on summon or whatever, we just chain. But ideally, we would activate where art thou, and we can even chain this. So we get two searches, uh, that of which we can do stuff with. So like we can search Cobalt and Turquoise and proceed to uh, go full combo with just the Turquoise Cobalt. So going second, not a brick. Do one last one. Yep, and that's just full combo. So. I hope you're sort of starting to get the vibes. Here you can kind of bird call, add cobalt, special, add sanctuary. I mean, there's so many lines here. It's pretty free regardless. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we're looking at. Oh yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to do that because then you couldn't turquoise. But anyway, that's the deck, y'all. Thank y'all again for watching. It is always a pleasure. Um, I hope you enjoyed because this deck actually is pretty fun to play. It's extremely budget too, uh, like ridiculously budget. The only thing that isn't budget is the SP, of course, but um, you know that is what it is. Here you would add cobalt, add barrel, barrel target cobalt, go into recital, uh, search Celestine and Sapphire. Special, overlay, uh, probably ensemble pass <clears throat> with the duster, with follow up for next turn. 
Like I said, man, deck's good, actually. Low-key, if you don't brick, low-key is legit kind of playable. I say that as I open pretty much unplayable. But there's the deck, no longer unplayable. So if y'all liked, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see the duels for this video I was talking about to see some real combos, uh, check out tomorrow's video and the day after. I've got two bangers on the way, both meta. So, yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. I've been Big Switch. Y'all have been amazing. Peace the heck out.